Good morning, everyone. It's Rachel here. <clears throat> Look what I found that someone sent me. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, so we're going to work in the little um, junk journal July and do a couple of prompts, I think. And you'll be hearing an echo because I've nearly emptied out the room. And we're in the throes of moving and tomorrow night we're going to sleep in our new place, but we'll be without the internet. So this video will go up on Monday. And then the guy's coming on Tuesday and um, we should be able to, um, what did I want to say? We should be able to um, do a video and upload it. Okay, so I think I'll just work on the next page. And I'm, I'm skipping reinvent at the moment because I'm not quite sure what to do there. Um, I could do fold out and cemetery not cemetery symmetry symmetry oh my goodness i can't speak okay so i have obviously left myself things to use i've tidied up a little bit too much now let me just see in this one this is just was my um sort of ongoing working little folder what these are Sharon's papers. I was going to prepare those for journals. I was just, I know I printed Sharon's on two sides, but I'm, I'm going to think I'm going to grab something else. That's on sticky paper. That one. You know what's really speaking to me is this paper. I love this. So what I might do, <clears throat> it'll make it a bit bulky, but we might do a bit of collaging on the reverse side. Normally, I would use a uh, you know something that I've printed on. So, how is everyone today? I hope you're well and you're going to have a lovely weekend. We had a little storm the other night, so the humidity's gone. And um, in the morning, it's nice and cool, below 20 degrees, which is what I like. It makes me feel better. I think I might attach my fold out here to tear it down further. Let's just put a crease and I'll make that a little pocket. So sometimes it's nice to have those. Well, actually, I'll just glue that up because I do need to cover that side anyway. So let's just get not that glue. attach that there so before I attach it I'm just going to add a little strip of something anything just to um, <clears throat> just to 
cover up those bits that are going to peekaboo out because then they'll be annoying to have to collage on. Oh, I had a, a doubt if we, for a moment that I had put record, pressed, you know, record, play, record, record. <laughs> okay. So then I need to get, I might use this glue. Where's my bask drying glue, this one? And I'm going to put glue here. I'm going to do it around three sides. Oh, I should have covered all of that too. Oh dear. Okay. Whoops. I have a couple, oh no, I've got all my washi tapes here, so I'm just thinking I might, oh, let's put that lovely one. Okay, <clears throat> and then we need to work here, and I need to sort out that bit there. So I'm just going to have a sip of macchiato while I think about it. fold that over so it's stronger and not quite so deep. Okay, so that will be my little tuck there. So I just need to <clears throat> deal with this bit here. Have waited for that to dry. Okay. Right, what do we have flying around that I can use? Lots of papers here. Oh, I've got these thin papers too. Let's pull those out. I think I'm going to glue that there. something there. It's a 
kind of funny way to do things. I probably should have done a lot of this stuff before. Before I glued it on. It would have been made my life much easier. Not a very, it's not a very deep, a bit very big, wide pocket. So it's kind of hard to slide things in there. That's it. This is going to go here. Actually, I've pulled it up a little bit so I can actually then glue it down again. I'm actually going to tear that and join it up afterwards. And I need to take a bit off the bottom. Actually, I should do both together. I certainly like giving myself a challenge. <laughs> so I think next week, <clears throat> to celebrate going into my house and 40,000 subscribers, guys, I never thought I'd get there. I really talk about that because um, I don't really sort of, I do see how many I have, but it's not like, you know, my purpose. Um, but it is, you know, obviously an achievement. I've covered up that bit anyway. Um, and, I'm, you know, I'm very pleased and thankful for everybody who has subscribed and watches. So I'm thinking I'm going to do a giveaway. Um, I haven't done a giveaway for a really long time simply because I haven't had time. I always feel like I need to sort of make something really special. But I do have a few things that I've been making. So I thought I'd put together a collection and maybe some supplies or something like that. And that is going to be the prize. So I'll announce that next week in a video what's going to happen there. But it's definitely time for a giveaway. I don't think I put my glue around the edge, did I? Probably not. And then I'm going to put like some of my um, tape, my tape down as though it's been repaired. That was my thought. Let's see if I can get some glue under here. So I did lift it a bit. looking a bit of a mess at the moment but we'll get there. Persevere. Now let's have a look and hear what I have. Ooh, just a plain one. So this is just old 
document printed on the transparent paper. Ten well, it's not paper, is it? It's oh no. Okay, well, we're going to have to go with it and patch it, which is probably what it would be like anyway. I'm going to grab a bit of a different one. I see that as an opportunity. Now I really have to work to crease that. We do have room to grow in this little journal, so that's good. Okay, and then here we need to have some things going on. bit of hand-painted foshi. Now I could put something there to hold it shut too, that could be fun. How cool is that? Got a whole extra page. I like the clashy designs, but I feel like this sort of brings in these sorts of colours as well. And then I'll make sure my pocket is really nice and strong there. And I've got a pocket there. You could write here, not obviously not on the plastic bit. And now here, I'm thinking for my fold out, on screen, yes. Um, I want to put something here to hold it shut. And I did that. You wouldn't have seen it because I haven't shared it yet. But I did do that on um, in a couple of the journals I'm working on. Eternally working on. You can see why I never get through my list. So I tidied up my scrap box yesterday. And I put all my little pieces in there. I found my reinforces got my strips but I thought I had here we go I have a stronger piece I might use that let's see if I like it glue that down and that just tucks underneath so I'll just make that stick And I guess we've got symmetry here as well because we've got the two pockets and we've got this on either side. So that would give us symmetry. So we've really done that prompt. Fold out and symmetry together. There's bouquet, wallpaper, clashing patterns. Time out. Hmm. Don't know.
But I won't, I'm not going to use that for symmetry. I'm going to do something else here, I think. It's already stuck and then just tuck that underneath and that holds your page down. Really like that. Very happy. Okay, so symmetry. I think we might do a bit of collage for symmetry. Um, let me think. having a thought okay so I'm thinking okay sorry I'm back up I just had to ask Steffi something okay so I'm going to reinforce this paper and because it's printed on um, copy paper I, I always print on copy paper and then reinforce if I want it thicker because I like the printout. It prints better than the... I do have some pages in that folder that are printed on the different papers. And I never use them because the colours are, are dull. And that's because of the paper. So the, cop, the HP copy paper for me, excuse me, is the best. For my printer, I don't know. Like people who... Well, I have an Epson too, but I... I find my Epson doesn't print as well as my HP. So I only use it to, you know, print out sort of non-journaling sort of stuff. Everyday sort of stuff. And, you know, um, the Insta, the HP Insta Ink program was really a game changer that really allows me to use my HP all the time because... Um, you know, basically for the price of two packs of cartridges in the whole year, that's what I, what I spend. And I get new, new cartridges, ink cartridges all the time. Now, I'm going to cut this straight here. I'm actually going to cut it off and then I'm going to do a bit of fussy cutting. But top and bottom, I'm going to keep straight and you'll see why in a minute. The excess that may or may not work it's just a thought that came to my mind as I was looking at the piece of paper okay so I'm just going to do a little um, sort of loose sort of fussy cut here not I want to keep the butterfly or at the moment I think I do I'm using the big scissors like Wendy only bit. Well, I don't have to go into any fine detail or anything like that, so that's perfectly fine. I think you can guess what I'm going to do now. And then here, it's going to be that way, but it's too big. So I might have to cut it down. I have to lose the yellow flower. And that is going to go up there. I might have to lose a bit more. That's better. Put that up there. And that down there. 
And that, to me, having one at the top and one at the bottom is creating symmetry. So I'm going to glue them on two sides, both of them. And then it's a spot that you can slip in something. Top. You could slip something in the bottom and then in the top, or you could slip it under both. I'll show you what I mean in a second, but I really like that. I need to remember that. I put it over a bit because my page is cut there, obviously for the elastic. But here, like I could lose the butterfly, but I like the butterfly. Let's let that dry a second. And then, let's, you know, help put it in there and then untuck it under. I've got to let them dry. So why don't we... Um, I know I've got my my labels here. Okay, let's have a look at the labels. Whoops, I whacked my light. Did you see the change in light? Okay. this one on that page Those color oh I put it there no over there see that to me causes create symmetry like that as well oh I didn't snip those corners off silly This one was fold out number five. And here I might even write fold out. So I've got room and then I need, I'm going to create more symmetry and put a little one down there. And this one is number six. So I'll slowly catch up doing two at a time uh, and I need a smaller label so I might have to try and find somewhere here I know I've got Tracy's labels do I yes oh here we go I wanted blue, so that's the only blue one I've got. I'll put that one there. Yes, I like that. And this one is number six. See, I don't do them in order. And there we go. That's my little spread for today. I'm very excited. 
I can pack everything up now. So for example, you can put that in there. Well, actually you probably slide it in there. I've got more give here and tuck it in there sort of thing. I mean, yes, something like that was my thought, but you could have something tucked in there and then also tucked in there as well. So two things, you could have to use it as two pockets. This I'll put back in here. Did I tick symmetry? No. That's that. And so then we've got our symmetrical pockets. We've got our symmetrical labels. I guess we've got our symmetrical flowers. And then this is our my fold out. And it's got two pockets. I haven't put anything in there yet, but um, that can happen at any time. And that folds over. And then we're on to our next spread. And I'm loving it. And look, I've got plenty of room to grow in this little journal, I think. So I'm not too concerned about it. Probably might end up bulgy, but I won't always do bulky things in it either. And as I said, I might, you know, only finish half of it and then the rest um, I'll do next time. Like I might decide if um, Meg does another one at some time, I'll start here. Heaps of pages to play with. So there you go. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend. And as I said, next time when I do a video, I will be in the new place. So have a great day and see you again soon. Bye.